Hi everyone, and the objective of this video is to introduce truth tables as used in digital logic. So the first thing that we need to establish is what we call truth-false statements. So in the um, digital systems, one is, dem is um, termed to be true, and zero is termed to be false or any other binary kind of opposite. So for example, yes or no, or on or off, for example, for switching, and so on and so forth. However, for the case, uh, for the purposes of simplicity, uh, for the case of this video, we're just going to be looking at true or, or true or false. And therefore, due to the fact that there's just ones and zeros, it works in tandem with the binary numbers. So now this proves crucial in what we are in uh, determining what we call truth tables. Truth tables are exhaustive descriptions of outputs for all possible inputs. And these possible inputs are first of all dictated by the number of bits possible, and secondly they are often influenced by certain relationships that are required. So for example, if x is greater than y, then it's true, or for example if x is less than y, then it's false, and so on and so forth. The range of uh, relationships that can be used in digital um, logic are actually very, very um, exhaustive and there can be actually a whole number of them that we can use. So in order to illustrate this, let us look actually at an example. So in this example, Daniel goes to the mall and the items that he shops for are categorized into things that he needs and things that he wants. And his methods of payment are either cash or debit card. And so the conditions that are imposed in this example are are that if he wants an item he will only buy it if he has cash and if he needs an item he will buy it with cash or if he has a car. 